Hi there, it's good to have you join me today. We're going to do a standing up class and we'll focus on our leg strength and balance exercises. So grab a stand behind a chair so you can use it to balance and see if you can get quite a solid chair because it will help, like you'll be able to lean on it and you won't feel like it'll slip away from you. So go and get a chair and then we'll get into it. All right, so we're just going to start um, looking facing the chair with your fingertips on the chair and you don't want to be back so far that putting your hands on the chair makes you feel rounded so come forward enough that you can just pop your fingertips and you're up nice and tall and then we just have the feet parallel and toes pointing straight ahead then from here we're just going to um, lift up the heels and go onto your tippy toes and then pop the heels back down so just up and down now you're going to feel your calf muscles working here and this will be really good for just shifting the weight onto the toes. The joints of the toes are, are moving and you feel like your toes are flat and spread out. Sometimes it's easy to scrunch them up for balance but we want to avoid that. And you know the joint of the big toe, press that down too, that can help you feel steady. And we just go up and down. Good. Keep going. Length at the back of the neck. We'll do quite a few to um, till we start to feel those calf muscles working. That's good. So you can keep going like this or if you want to do it, um, make it a little bit harder, you can actually go up, down, down, up, down, down. So just two steps on the way down. So see what works. Sometimes the little halfway down can just make it that little bit harder. Down, down, up, down, down, <laughs> up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. That's it. We'll do about five more. <laughs> Good, this will be good for you. I mean, once you've got the idea of these moves, you can follow along in this class and come back to it whenever you like. But if you just remember a few like this, you can do them at your kitchen bench when you're waiting for your tea to brew or you're just having a chat to your family, you can do a few of your heel raises, which will be really good. And pause, good. Then we're going to bend the knees, but see, see how my back's still staying straight up? So we're gonna flex at the ankle. The knees, you just watch, they go straight ahead, not tuck in, okay? And then straight up. So you might go, oh, I'm not going very far. This one, you're not supposed to go down very far. It's just a little one. So your back stays up, your eyes stay up, your shoulders are down. Whoop. Don't go so far that your knees tap together. Keep this parallel line. Good. And stand up tall. The next one we'll do, we'll just be sideways on the chair, so still hold on here. And we're just going to have, um, stand on one leg so that the one toes are on the ground like this but try not to hike the hip up just make yourself nice and even and then we just tap the toe out and in okay so you just put it out to the side and bring it in so this standing leg is the one that's going to be doing all the work the leg you're standing on just have the knee a tiny little bit bent rather than locked solid that's it very good Going, we're nearly there. And four, three, two, one. And then just stand up nice and tall. Then from here, we're just going to enjoy a nice little side bend. So see, I'm just letting this shoulder drop down as I take one arm over. Nice big stretch and bring it back, we'll do that again. So sweep the arm over, 
Let this shoulder go down and open your chest to the side. That's it. Bring it back. Two more. Nice big breath. Big stretch. That's good. And again. Big stretch over and back and down. Okay, we're going to do the other side. So I'm just going to turn around and face the other way. And you can go the other way as well. So it was just stand on one leg. Watch that you don't sink into the hip. You're up nice and tall. And then we're just out and in with this leg. <laughs> the leg you're standing on to give it a little softness. And keep it going. And then put your feet parallel again and ready for a nice side bend. Take it over to the side and bring it back. And again, take a nice deep breath in as you go over. Big breath as you go over to the side and bring it back. And last one here. Nice big side bend opening up the ribs and bring it back. Then you just turn and face your chair again and we're going into a V shape. So the heels are together, but the toes are out. Now looking here at your chair, fingers on the chair and we come up onto your tippy toes and then down. So different kind of um, feeling and different muscles. So we've got this squeeze around here. So sort of like wrapping around, whoops. So you wanna keep that nice steady feeling. So your heels come apart when you lift up and then they touch together when you put your feet on the ground. So whenever I do exercises like this, to keep balance, there's a lot, in, lot goes on in the tummy actually. So I feel like I'm drawing the, the, um, the tummy in and up. And I've got my thighs squeezing together when I come down. And I feel like um, I'm a little bit tight through the glutes as well. So everything kind of is strong that will hold you steady. And then we'll change it now. So come up onto your toes. Bend your knees, put your heels down on the ground and then stand up. Up onto your toes, take a little bend, put your heels down, stand up tall. And up on your toes, bend your knees a little bit, pop your heels down, stand tall. Up on your toes, little bend, heels down, stand up. Up on your toes, you can take a bigger bend if you want to, <laughs> it's up to you. So. Um, just go down as much as you feel like is, is you should <laughs> and then come back up. Up on your toes, bend, heels stretch down, you stand up, up on your toes, stretch down, heels down and up. Then we just reverse it. So you take a bend, then the heels lift, then you can stand up, then the heels go down. So just reverse, bend first, heels up, stand up, Heels down, bend, up, up, down. Bend, up, up with the body, down. Bend, up, up, down. Bend, up, up, down. Bend, up, up, down. Bend, up, up. Just two more. Good, last one. And down. Now, we're gonna keep this feeling of the thighs rolling out as we just stand on one leg. The foot, one foot goes and just rests behind the, the calf muscle of the other leg. And then here we tap it back and then put the foot back on the calf muscle. So back and in, back. In. Have a look from the front if you're not sure. It just goes back like this and in. So both thighs are staying in that outward position. Keep that going. That's it.
and then pause with your toes back behind you. So the heels up at the back, but you still got the toes down at the back. So the thighs are still sort of aiming outward a little bit and you just take a little bend and stand up. Little bend and up. Okay. Good. And we just do four more. One, two, three, four. Good. Bring that foot back in. So you've got that V shape again. And then the other, you stand on the other leg. One foot goes behind the calf muscle there. And then you just tap it back. Tap your calf muscle. Tap the floor. Tap your leg. Floor. Leg. Sometimes I look down and just check what's going on with my legs. And once you've done that too, then you lift up your posture to be you know, your body to be nice and tall again. So you just look straight out in front. <laughs> That's good. And four, three, two, one. And then you just pop the toes back, toes on the ground, heel up. And then we just take a little bend and up, bend up. I've already done some of these leg exercises today, so I feel like I've got a bit of a wobble going on in my legs, <laughs> a bit of a shake. <laughs> Maybe you have as well, that's okay. You'll be strengthening your hips and glutes and legs doing these exercises. Okay, and we've just got four, three, two and one good pop your feet together then just turn your feet to toes to point straight ahead fingers on the chair you're going to reach one arm forward reach it back and do a big circle around behind you and then backstroke on the other arm and I want you just to spin around and look at your hand as it goes back giving the upper body a little stretch Good, nice deep breath in as you go back. Exhale round, inhale. Last one. Good. All we do next is we're going to stand on one leg. So have your fingers on your chair, not too far away. And we just shift the weight into one leg and bring the other knee up here towards the chair. So when I've got just standing on one leg, the leg that's on the ground is slight, the knee is slightly soft. Draw your tummy in, lift up your posture. And I've just got the chair there on my fingertips. Okay, so my, I'm up nice and tall. Then I'm just going to reach the leg back. And as I do, I'm just going to let my chest drop down towards the chair. And then the knee comes back up to the chair and I swing back up to being straight. So the leg goes back and I tip. And then you bring your knee up and you're standing tall. Reach back and up. Good. So you try and think of, you know, more like just a tip as the leg goes back, your chest will just tip down. So you'll find yourself in like a straight line and then when the leg goes back this time you're going to hold it there now the leg you're standing on just bend that knee and straighten it and take another bend and straighten bend straighten one more bend straighten bring the knee up towards the chair the leg you're standing on, you're going to do some heel raises just with one, one leg. So the heel comes up and you're on your toes and then the heel goes down. Oh, too close to the chair. So we go up and down. Up and down. Up, down and up and down. Then you pop that leg down, ready for the other side. So we just stand on one leg, that's your first first thing to do is get the hips nice and square and then you reach the leg back and your chest drops down towards the chair then you tip back up 
here we are keep going so my chest just aims at the the top of the chair here my shoulders and elbows are just dropping down on the next one we'll leave the leg back there okay now we just bend and straighten our standing leg you don't have to take a really big deep bend just a little one good and then bring that knee up towards the chair ready for some little heel raises on one leg one whoops <laughs> two three four good job put that foot down okay now your feet are parallel you take one foot you take it a step back so the heel is up at the back but um, it's like you're standing on train tracks okay so you've you've got a space between your feet but they're both aiming straight ahead and then from here we're just going to bend both knees and straighten up again so bend both knees straighten up the heels up at the back that's it really good and again this one you can go a bit lower if you want to or you can go a bit faster if you want so there's lots of ways to make this class harder no hands and then we just take a little bend we're going to pulse here so just do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then the heel goes down at the back so now both legs are straight and I'm just going to send the hips back and lift up the toes at the front so now you can see that front leg here at the back of this front leg is getting a really big stretch the back knee can be bent a little bit it's more important to have the front leg straight and also think about lengthening out your back And then you come forward, put the back foot forward and put the front one, just one step back, not a huge step. And here we go, just for a little bend. So now we lift up your body and up, down, up. So I've got my feet on those train tracks. I'm also thinking about my knees staying nice and going the right way <laughs> and keeping my spine up, my shoulders down. That's it. Can you feel that back leg working, that back glute? And I draw my tummy in as well for these. And now we're ready to just bend down a little way and do some pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoop, <laughs> 10. And then the back heel goes down and you're going to tip the hips, sweep the hips back. The toes at the front come up. And you wanna try and keep your hips as square as you can. So, and lengthen out your back. Just stay there and take some deep breaths. That's it. Don't overstretch. Don't, don't go to where it like, is screaming like a 10 out of 10 kind of stretch. Just go to about a 7. But no pinching, no pain. Good. Put that foot down and step forward. And then just turn and face me. We won't need the chair. We're just going to finish with a nice big arm circle. <laughs> so arms go wide up towards the ceiling and then bring the arms back and down and again a nice big inhale that's it and exhale the shoulders drop feel your feet down on the ground feel that grounding down feeling nice solid strong legs you have <laughs> good and we will leave it there so good job